Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session of Podis with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today I am going to show you another podi that is the spice powders from Andhra Pradesh which is called Kandi Podi. Kandi Podi means it is made with Tuvar Dal. To make this uh, powder, all you do is add red chilli whole okay? and the amount of red chilli you can increase or decrease depending upon how spicy you eat. After adding red chillies, add Tuvar Dal. But do not use the tuar dal which is oily. You know in the market you can get uh, uh, tuar dal which is coated with oil or uh, one without oil. Use one without oil. And add some cumin seeds. Cook it very slowly till all this uh, tuar dal becomes uh, slightly reddish in color. And um, as I have told you earlier in other powders, whenever you make any kind of powders, always make sure you cook all these ingredients in a medium flame so that they get even coloring on all the sides and uh, do not blacken in any part because that totally spoils your powders. In preparation of this uh, kandi podi, that is the tuar dal powder, we always add chana dal. If you are taking one cup of tuar dal, add half a cup of chana dal. But I am using a roasted chana dal that is dahlia then you can use one cup to one cup of tuar dal. Now you can see that this tuar dal is getting nice golden color. Now I am going to add roasted chana dal that is dahlia and add uh, around 3 to 4 cloves of garlic just uh, cut them into small pieces and add it. And uh, you know this is an optional ingredient that is the curry leaves. You can add the curry leaves and uh, you know you can also add little bit of hing but this is also very optional. Add little bit of it. Cook all these ingredients till a point that all these ingredients dry up. Even curry leaves when you press it hard it should become like a powder. I am going to cook for another 10 minutes in a very slow flame because I want all these ingredients to become really dry. Very interesting thing about uh, these uh, kind of powders like milgapodi or kandipodi or so many of these powders is lot of times if you are in a hurry and you have guests in and you want to make a quick vegetable, you know lot of vegetables like eggplant, even uh, bitter melon, uh, tindora, all these vegetables just uh, you know saute them a little bit, add these powders and uh, they become wonderful tasty dishes. Okay, switch off the flame and uh, let it cool for another 5 minutes. And some people love to add little bit of uh, coconut powder. If you want to add little bit of coconut powder, that also becomes another variation. You won't believe how many kind of these powders we make in South India. And uh, we're going to learn a lot of these uh, powders in the future sessions at uh, Vareva.com. See, remember one thing. If you don't cook your ingredients right, it takes a lot more effort to make them powder. But if you cook all these ingredients perfectly, then the powder becomes very easily. When you are making milgapodi, the powder is little bit coarse because it's very crunchy. This kandipodi is not that crunchy, so you can make it little bit finer than that. Now, when this is ready, you can add little bit salt. So now this your um, kandipodi, that is the tuar dal powder, is ready. Hmm. This kandipodi is favorite of lot of Andhra people and uh, this is a favorite of my very good friend whose name is uh, Neil Mudiganda. He is a very good singer. He will be on the show pretty soon and he would not start his food without having a bite of this kandipodi and little bit of ghee. And uh, you guys should try this. This is a kind of uh, gunpowder for lot of Andhraites and go ahead and try this and you will really enjoy this uh, kandipodi which is a tuar dal powder. This kandipodi also goes excellent with lot of vegetables and um, nothing like eating with a uh, little bit rice and ghee. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this tuar powder that is a kandipodi with your wa chef at vareva.com. But remember, vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So, 
please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you